got this uh, core sampler. This is from Stuart Mead Design off YouTube. And uh, it came in the mail just like this. Came shipped in a solid PVC pipe. It's, about, it's supposed to be about 8 feet long. and So I'm going to take it apart and try it for the first time. So one of the reasons that I am got this is that it's, it seemed like a good way to see if the septic needs to be pumped. And of course, it's hard to tell if you need to do it or not and how often. So there's the tube. It's a nice clear tube. It's got <coughs> one foot sections marked. And it's, uh, it has a ball stopper here. So as I saw in his video... Stuart made it clear I'll be dropping this into the septic and go down to the bottom and when I get to the bottom I pull this stop and it tightens it up and then I'll pull it out and see where we're at. So I'm going to be putting this in here and uh, the goal is to see as he said in his video you have scum on top and then you have a layer of effluent the liquid part and then the sludge which is the bottom part so I'm gonna see where we're at here and uh, so it says to drop this straight in drop it down just nice and slow to the bottom and then I pull gently till there he says a ping or something and when I lift it out it will give us Ew. a reading and if you're getting this oh I forgot I forgot I was supposed to tie this off so you want to tie this off on this cleat I forgot that um so Looking at it, if it has 25 to 30, this is really cool. This is a pretty cool tool because you're supposed to pump the septic. He said if you have 25 to 30 percent, and as you can see, the the tank is one, two, three, three and a half feet, and our sludge level is about a foot and a half. So we're getting close. Um, we're probably getting close to where we'd want to pump it, actually. And uh, it's better than I thought. I was a little nervous that it would be 50% or 75% sludge, which would be bad. So um, a very cool tool. I'm going to take one more reading just to see if it's the same. Right now it's about a foot. I'd say it's about a foot and seven inches, foot and eight inches of sludge. Okay, so here's the second reading just to see. So I had to go nice and slow. This time I'll be sure to use the cleat because I didn't use the cleat. I'm at the bottom of the tank. My pull, I got the stopper. I'm going to twist this off on this cleat. And then I pull the whole tube up. And. It is about the same. So we're dealing with, like I said, same three and a half feet of water. Got about a foot and a half of sludge. So we're definitely at the 25 to 30% mark. So it's a good idea to get it pumped. And I gotta say thank you to Stuart Mead. I really appreciate your video. It's great to have a tool like this, and I hope more people see this. I just wanted to say one more thing. When, when you look in here, visually, it looks like it's full, and it scared me to death. So it just proves, it proves the fact that even though visually it looks like it, the tank is probably busting at the seams, it's probably that layer of the scum on top, and... 
which is why this tool it comes in real handy because it gives you a true reading of what's down in there. So. When I bought this guitar, it had brand new strings, brand new strap, all those things, brand new picks, both thumb and flat, and all the elementary things like that. 